Hi everyone, Virginia State Senator Amanda Chase, and I'm here downtown at the Capitol. We have had the best conversations down here at the Capitol. You know, the media wants to pit us against each other, and we refuse to be pitted against each other. This is my new friend Vaughn, who I met today, and um, I really wanted to give, he was telling me some really interesting things. Um, number one, um, you were talking about, you have peaceful protesters who are here. So I, I'm just going to give you the opportunity to share your story that's not heard out there in the media. It's all yours. Well, for one, uh, my name is Von Sante, E-O-N-S-A-N-T-E. And today I'm just going to tell you the truth. For one, the protesters involved with Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, we are not terrorists. And uh, we have not destroyed our city or looted it, but rather it has been other people coming from surrounding counties who don't live here. Because if it was people who lived here, then we would get caught with the things. That's like your hand getting caught in the cookie jar. You know, it's that situation. But if you don't have no access to that kitchen, then you won't get caught, you know. But also, there are people who are in the government who are paying organizations and creating organizations and funding them and giving them money to go out to people to create these uh, mm -hmm. uh, problems or create these uh, uh, riots with the police. And they will attack from the back of the crowd. This is one of the things the media is not putting out. They will show things flying towards the police, but they will not show you the actual direction from where Absolutely. this projectile came from. And it's all the way from the back of the crowd. The and we have multiple videos and, and things of that nature to prove you know, these situations, but we never get a chance to get our voices heard. And then also, um, I feel as though it's like, it's like us, it's, it's something, it's very important for us to all uh, take the time to actually come out here and see this, instead of making a, a presumptual decision based off of what you're seeing on TV, because that's not true. And they're painting fabricated incidents and the media is also owned by several members of the government. So they're only putting out what they're told to put out by people who actually own these companies, you know, and they can only do their jobs, you know, or they won't have them. So to a degree, it's, it is the media's fault for Absolutely. putting it out there, but it's also the government's fault for approving it. Okay, yeah, go right ahead. Okay, we had an incident, and it actually made the news, and it's crazy how it made the news. Um, we were out there peacefully protesting like we've been doing for the past five weeks. There were some cars parked in the circle, blocking one of the lanes. We turn around, there's 25 cops, and I have video, I have pictures and everything else. They came out with riot gear, with everything. Canine cop was right up front. Since when do canine cops come out for traffic violations? They came out there fully prepared to tear gas us and harm us. We stepped out, Queen that was here earlier, uh, my man Vaughn, the rest of us, we all stepped out, all, all of us that were on, we stepped out and said, no, you're not gonna harm us like you normally do. We'll get the cars moved, but what you're doing is too much. It's way too much. And I have the video, the video's nine minutes and 30 seconds long. At about the 3.30 minute mark, you can see a, a spray can come in and almost hit the police in the head. Yeah, it wasn't Black Lives Matter. It was a young white kid who was dressed up with his hat on and whatnot. We didn't tell on him or get him in trouble or nothing like that, but we jumped in his we jumped in his ass and told him, said, look, not physically, we told him straight up, we're here, peaceful movement. Nothing is more important than the peaceful movement. And we marched his behind right up out of there. Then somebody, Monet, the one uh, uh, yeah, that talked to you, asked could she use my video. Then Channel 6, I think her name is Tracy Harvey. Let's make sure we spell that name right. Tracy Harvey, is that right? That's the right That's, name. Okay, make sure we get that out there. Nine minutes and 30 seconds. She chopped it, took out the audio, and said that we were walking around with assault rifles, intimidating residents. Hmm. The lowest shit. Where exactly, exactly. So my thing is, my thing is, my thing is, if you look at the video, if you look at the video, we were de-escalating the situation so the police wouldn't get hurt and so we would not get hurt because normally when we're standing like this, mysteriously, we don't get tear gassed. I wonder why. I wonder why. And all the hate groups that, that, that hate us so much, whatever, when we're looking like this, they could they don't come and bother us. I wonder why. I wonder why. So yeah, that stuff needs to be put out. That's why I want to have the conversation with Gerald Smith, the police chief, because I showed how police did it the right way and how they did it the wrong way. 
You know, he's what, the third chief in what, uh, two weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. So my, but we want to hold him accountable before he even gets comfortable in office. That's awesome. All right, everyone. This has been, I just really want to thank you all um, for allowing me to listen to what you all have to say today. Um, this has been a great time. I didn't know what I was going to walk into when I came out here today, to be honest. Look at with all this you. peace. But we're supposed to hate each other, right? I know, but we don't. You know, we are. We supposed refuse. to hate that white man. He's supposed Do to hate me. Do we refuse to let the media to pit us against each other? I walk away from the media. Yeah. I told Fox Turn News off your TV. There. It's not true. Watch your Fox Facebook. News, watch what we're doing. I mean, we're yeah, right. here. We're kiss united. We believe in the Second Amendment yeah. because we believe in our basic ability to protect ourselves. You know, I hate to say it's not just black people who are bullied. Yeah. I got bullied too. And I have people who don't like my politics who want to take me out. I get threats, too. And when you get threats, um, you'll learn a, a quick Second Amendment, right? You'll learn how just important Absolutely. that Second Amendment is. We all need and deserve the right. And this governor, he does not get it, yet he has his own personal security detail while he's taking away our right yeah, yeah, to protect yeah. ourselves. I mean, we're just, I don't get a security detail. My, the folks that secure me, our volunteers who said, look, this girl's going to get hurt because <laughs> she's out there opening her mouth and speaking the truth, and we want to protect her because I think we have to tell the truth what's going on in Richmond. And we're telling it today, and I really want to appreciate you for being brave enough, Vaughn, to speak out, both of you all, for being truthful today. Yes, yes, and we're unified, y'all. We, we get it. Yeah. We're good down here. So um, you go right ahead. Go ahead. What's your name? You want to say it? Sleepy. I'm sleepy too. <laughs> but I, I get what you're saying. Like, you gotta speak up this again. Uh, I, I really don't have a voice. <laughs> He's been I yelling. I don't have a voice. I've been doing a lot of yelling. And, and I might still be recovering from my sister from being tear gas and me 10 times. But the last time we, the last time we were tear gas, me personally, was out at the monument when the governor gave orders for us not to be inside of the monument. Right. When we got tear gas, everyone was outside of the monument wasn't the city, it was the state police. Mm -hmm. Those that those that said VSP. The state police that came out there, they, they went into the monument inside of the barricade while all of the civilians were outside of the area. You're obeying your orders, you're being peaceful. Why are we getting tear gas? Yeah. You show up in riot gear every time every time you every time you approach us, you show up in riot gear. We're not riot gear. We're not right. Well, listen, I, then, then you have you have situations where where we are speaking about our second minute. Then you have people like me who who have who have a past. I have a past to where I'm not allowed to bear arms. So how am I supposed to protect myself when I'm receiving these threats? When I'm receiving the same threats that everyone that everyone else that I'm with are receiving. And if you look at a lot of the videos, you look at a lot of the news footage, you always see my face. I'm always on the front. Because I'm going to stand up for my people, I believe in standing up for what's right. And, I agree. and a lot of the things that happen in, happen with our police, people that are supposed to serve us, people that I when I go to work and taxes are taken out of my check, it, it goes towards their salary. <coughs> but you want to harm me. You want to harm. You want to harm a taxpayer citizen. That's that. That if, if if it was none of us, if there was no taxpaying citizens, you wouldn't have a job, correct? That's right. You look at what happened when the governor shut down the economy and the businesses here in Virginia. There's no revenue coming in to exactly. pay for so, any of that. So why do you want to why do you want to harm those taxpayer citizens? Why do you want to why do you want to kill those taxpayer citizens? That's right. So we're going to conclude this by saying, look, we got to do better. We have to do better. We have to listen more, talk less. Um, I believe we need new management in Richmond. Um, to be honest with you. Uh, we need someone that truly understands um, the Second Amendment. We need Amanda someone. Chase. Yeah, yeah, I do. I yeah. Well, <laughs> well we don't this is just crazy. Somebody getting high off of baby's adrenochrome. That's right. Ralph Nordstrom. That's right. Because he does. It. Uh, There's no way in here uh, you're going to push babies. You can make abortion rates all the way up until the time that they're giving birth. Say it. That you're doing that to get high off adrenochrome. He needs to be drug tested. Seriously. 
I hope somebody out there listening, I don't care if you see my face. I don't care if you know. I know you're doing it. I know I see That's all we're going to say about that, y'all. The truth, right from Chase for Senate office, you know, don't get any more truthful than that, y'all. This is called For Real with Senator Chase. God bless you guys. From uh, the Richmond Capitol, it was fun. It was so nice to meet you today. All these good folks here, and uh, we came together today. We listened, and um, God bless you guys. Happy Fourth.